Hello and welcome back. So this is the first video since my little hiatus and of course it's a talking head video which is probably the worst kind of video there is. But I'm gonna make it anyway. So we'll be talking about the Razor Core X in this video and my overall experience with it. Now this isn't a review for those of you who might be looking for one. I don't know why you came to my channel to look for a review because I don't do them. But if you're here, just know it's not a review. Just going to talk about the experiences. Now, if you're curious at all about the 5700 that's in here, I'd recommend checking out the previous video uh, with this unit and the 5700 where we over overclocked it by essentially upgrading the BIOS, which I guess isn't technically overclocking, but it kind of is. doesn't matter. Check that video out. And also, if you're curious about my ideas of the Razer Core X Chroma, I'd recommend checking out another video, but be warned that video is more of a rant than anything and it's not that enjoyable. But I did want to mention while I have your attention here, in that video I may have been wrong on a couple of points and my overall feelings toward that may be different now that I've had this. And I'd be willing to give the Razer Core X Chroma, or Razer Core X Chroma, yeah, a chance again, but I think that we probably never will, especially now that I have this in-house. So in the Razer Core X Chroma's defense, wow, that's a mouthful to say, um, the overall bad experience I had was probably not as bad as that video makes it out to be, and that was probably more of a Windows-related or driver-related issue uh, than the actual device, uh, well, some of it anyway, because my experience with this has been great. All right, let's end the video here because that has pretty much all I have to say about this thing. It's been great. Now, if you managed to make it past the first minute, let's go ahead and get into a little bit more detail about everything we've done with this thing. So, I've had this connected to my MacBook, uh, which is originally why I got it, because I wanted to help improve my workflow with editing videos. And when you import a video into Final Cut Pro, this thing does help the rendering of that said content. But unfortunately, which is also kind of weird in my opinion, when you go to export that content, the 5700 doesn't do anything. And that's by Apple design. I don't know why. I'm not a tech expert on why that is, but that's just the way it is. So that pretty much made it useless. But I also have the urge, for some reason, to get rid of my beautiful gaming computer and just move down to a single device for a workstation purpose and also gaming. And this was going to be the answer to that as well. But on the Windows Boot Camp experience, that was pretty poor. Now, that's probably not the reflection of this device itself. It's probably more of a reflection on Apple's custom drivers for Windows 10 Boot Camp. And yeah, I could do clean install of drivers, and I did, but it was still quite the bear to deal with. There was a lot of inconsistent issues, and when I could game, it game pretty well, but getting to that point ended up being a lot of work. I was always felt like I was struggling just to get the dang thing to work when I wanted to. And unlike my gaming computer, I, which I can basically just turn on and immediately start gaming, except for every Windows update every time I boot the dang thing, that experience, itself is so worthwhile. I just want a game sometimes. I don't want to play around with driver issues, installing new updates, or driver updates that is, and just constantly tinkering. Like waking this thing up from Windows Boot Camp is totally inconsistent. Sometimes it works perfectly fine. Other times I have to reboot the whole machine, unplug everything, plug it all back in. It's just, I don't even remember the steps. It's just absolutely frustrating. So after that, it basically makes it useless for me and my MacBook. But thankfully, there was one other use case for this thing that has worked out way better than I thought it would. So my wife has an Asus laptop, which if you're curious at all, I talked about a little bit in a previous video as well, where we did an Unraid streaming uh, video. Uh, and in that video, I talk about her laptop and this device, but very, very briefly. So that laptop that she has is, has a 6700 HS, I believe, and um, an onboard GTX 1060. And that, that unit, that laptop is actually really good, at least it was. But as it's gotten older, we've had a lot of overheating issues. I've cleaned it, but it still overheats from time to time and just delivers her an overall bad experience. And that's where the Razer Core X comes into play. Because of Thunderbolt, or actually in this case USB-C, we we're able to use the 5700 and offload all of the graphics work onto this 
so she can enjoy playing all her games at 3440 by 1440 on her ultra wide monitor. And she has loved it. And on top of that, one thing we were able to do for a while anyway, was actually use the onboard 1060 to do all her encoding for her Twitch stream, which she does occasionally. Link in the video description if you wanna check her out. So we did that for a little while, it's been great. And overall, I would say her experience with this has probably blown her out of the water. It's taken her laptop and basically been able to progress her into the future with better graphics technology and I don't know, keep that laptop for longer than we would have because honestly, I was ready to get the thing out, the, out of my house after it just constantly kept crashing and turning off due to heat. So that's really all I really have to say about this. I said really twice, didn't I? Maybe we should cut that out. That's really all I have to say about this thing. It's been absolutely perfect. And I honestly am glad something like this exists because I don't know what we'd have done with her laptop. We probably would have had to spend another thousand dollars just to get her something halfway decent. And I didn't really want to do that. And I got this thing used at a pretty great price, including the graphics card. And in the future, if something better comes out, which it will, we can take out this graphics card, slap in the new one, and she'll be ready to go for the next generation of games. So that pretty much sums up my overall experience, which again, has been great. Well, at least for other parts anyway. And um, that's all that's really needs to be said about this. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon for the very next video. I keep saying very, I don't know why.